Good morning. On behalf of Pastor David and the staff, I want to welcome you to the bridge. It's time to come in and grab a seat. The worship service is about to begin. Just so you get a feel of what we do here at the bridge, we want to inform you on what to expect. So after worship, we'll share with you some things that are going on here at the bridge that you can be involved with. And then after that, we'll take some time to say hello to some friends, make some new ones, and also give to the work of the kingdom during our greet and give time. And then we will continue our study of the Word of God going verse by verse and chapter by chapter. Now last week, Pastor David taught about knowing your giftings. He gave a great explanation about how to find out what type of giftings that you may have. And then encouraged each of us to step out in faith and use our giftings to build the kingdom. Now before we begin all that, I'd like to share with you about the seven passions that you may have heard Pastor David or one of the assisting pastors talk about each week during some of the teachings. The seven passions are reading and studying, praying, giving, serving, worship, evangelism, and discipleship. And lastly, fellowship and family. Now, last week, Matt shared about serving. If you didn't catch it, you can check it out on the Bridge Facebook page where we posted the video. This week, we want to cover reading and studying. Sounds easy, right? Well, oftentimes, where someone is trying to grow in their faith, this is one of those that most of us neglect at times in our life. And the Bible promises in Psalms 1 where it says that if we meditate on the Word night and day, we'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And in our season in life, we'll bear fruit. And so here at the bridge in this body, we want to see people raised up in God's Word. So let's check out how people in this community of faith are taking and talking about reading and studying God's Word. Okay, uh, reading and, and studying the Bible is the key to peaceful living in my life. For me, it just helps me get focused, and uh, I just try to do that. Uh, somebody once said, you know, no read, no feed. Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is true, in his prayer to his Father. So it sanctifies me, cleans me up. We not only feed our fleshly selves, we need to feed our spiritual selves, and there's no other better way than to pray and to read the word. It definitely encourages me to see things from a different perspective, particularly in a God's point of view. It, makes, it just makes it a lot easier to be encouraged and encourage other people. It kind of carries with you throughout your day, you know? You, something happens and it automatically brings you back to that verse that you read earlier. It's the way the Lord speaks to me. And a lot of times, just one word at a time. Safe, sitting in the feet of the Lord, like in the Word, it's just better. Life just goes a lot smoother. It's nice to have a solid place to turn when things are going a little bit nuts. Because you can't have a real relationship with someone who you have no idea what they've ever said. When I failed to do it, I really uh, regret it. And then when I go back to it, I wonder why I ever stopped. It's like life or death for me. I've just got to do it. It's really cool to hear from the body about the different things that they do with reading and studying and really how it affects their life. 